Now the paint I'm using is uh, the old fashioned uh, Humbrol uh, enamel. Um, I've used this before and it's okay, I prefer this. You can use uh, other paints, obviously you don't want to be using uh, cellulose paint on a cellulose painted surface, that'll cause a lot of problems. <clears throat> uh, I think you can use acrylic, acrylic paints will be okay, not too sure but I think they are alright. Um, but. Uh, Umbral enamel is my choice and I've used this for years and I've never had any bother with it. If you make a mistake with uh, enamel paints or ordinary oil paints you can just wipe it off with uh, with turps whereas if you use cellulose which uh, I wouldn't recommend you won't be able to wipe it off if you made a mistake that would be it. Um, <clears throat> so I definitely wouldn't use cellulose based paints on a cellulose painted uh, surface um, unless you're an expert and a pro that knows what to do but I would never do that <clears throat> um, all I'm using is just an order common uh, cheap brush really and he's a, a pack of uh, brushes I've had uh, for a while not very expensive but uh, will be adequate for that for what I want just a matter of keeping uh, keeping onto the line in between the uh, the tapes, and that's uh, that's quite easy. So well, that's what I shall do now. Now you don't really want to be flooding it with paint; just enough to uh, to cover uh, easily. Uh, it's just a matter of painting, nothing uh, precision, because. It's uh, quite safe, the the tape stops you uh, going over the edge. You could, um, if you're skilled enough, you could uh, air spray using a um, an airbrush and and go and do uh, do the lines fill the lines i'm not uh, competent enough to use uh, an airbrush that uh, that small now i've actually thinned the paint down a little bit it was uh, on the thick side and it is going on a lot easier i shall now just uh, Continue all the way around and uh, let's see what the result is. Make sure there's no red showing. And there we are, that is the first uh, the first stage and the first uh, the first side. The other side needs doing now, but that will have to uh, be done later when the paint has uh, has dried and then we can turn it over and then um and then we can we can finish uh, the rest of it. That's uh, that's looking good. So when the tape is peeled off, there should be nice straight edges without any runs through. Hopefully. Right, I'm doing the end panel now. And then uh, now the paint's um, harshly dried on the side panel, which I've just done, and I'm going to do the uh, the tender uh, end panel now. And uh, when this is dried, I shall uh, I shall do the other panel. I was going to leave it uh, 
a day or so but it's uh, the paint is actually drying there quite quickly so we'll get this end panel done and then see how I go about doing the, uh, the other side panel well that's the end panel done finished the side panels uh, done and it's drying very quickly is the paint so um, I'm going to uh, do the other side vertically instead of laying it down um, although that's still a bit tacky although it's drying quick I'll do the other side and then I'll leave it a day or so and then uh, put the tape outline on for the white uh, lining band and then uh, do the white uh, the white lining and then that uh, that should uh, finish the job well I've decided to paint the um, the, uh, the lining on this side on the side panel decided to do it vertical I weren't going to uh, bother I'm going to wait while the other side dried really and, and do it horizontal but the paint is uh, is it's not running it's not running all over the place and it's adhering quite well so I've decided to do the uh, the panel stood on end which makes it a little bit more awkward but it saves a bit of time really Well, it's been just over a day now since I did the painting of the lining with the uh, the tapes so I'm going to take it off now it's, it's it's dried very quickly a lot quicker than I thought and it's it feels okay and it doesn't look too bad although it is a little bit ripply in parts but I don't think that's going to be noticeable and so what I shall do now is uh, I'll take the um, Take the tapes off and see what it looks like. Up to press, it's looking okay. Yeah, the edges are quite uh, nice and sharp. There's no run through by uh, by the look of it. Damn stuff won't come off. So I'll we'll just take off uh, from this edge. Yeah, it's looking well. It's looking well. It does not want to come off. It's so, so, not sticky, but um, it clings well. Looking, uh, looking good. See if we can get rid of that there. Now the inside one oh, could be a little bit tricky. Right. There we go. A little bit tricky, but uh, yeah, it's come away okay, is that? Yeah, happy with that. It's just slightly awkward to get the uh, the tape off. But uh, just a slight over spill there. That'll have to be dealt with. A little small amount of turps will uh, will do that because uh, it's still not fully hardened off. It will come off.
and I detect a tiny bit of overspill on this edge if I can just peel that yep just a bit there but that that will be easily dealt with and a little tiny bit there And that doesn't look too bad so it's just a matter now of uh, cleaning these little bits up these uh, tiny spots and same in this corner just that tiny bit there and there that's easily dealt with but otherwise it does not look too bad so I'll just uh, strip the rest of the uh, tapes off from the uh, from the sides, and then uh, I'll have a good look. And once that's uh, done, the next job then is to line it out with uh, some more tape for the uh, for the white uh, lining. Yes, I think that uh, that's near enough. And I think that will do. Well, I think that, uh, that that will do for me. I'm not looking for perfection. It looks okay. And that, uh, that will suffice for my needs. Now ready for the uh, rest of the tape taking off all around the side panels. And then uh, we'll put some tape on for the, uh, for the white lining.
Now I find the uh, kitchen roll, kitchen roll uh, with a tiny amount of turps on is perfect for uh, just getting these little bits off. Well, that's the end panel the, uh, the rest done with the, uh, with the tape. Now I'm going to do the of the, the rest of the side panels, and it's basically it's just the same. Really. You don't really need to bother. It's, not, uh, it's only a tiny tape amount. up and make sure that the gap is but, uh, I like correct all the way around. Trim them and do the other side. Proving a bit stubborn, so we'll leave that. But yeah, that, that will do for me. That will do. I will uh, concentrate on that tiny little piece in a moment, but uh, otherwise, that's uh, happy with that. Well, well that's, that's the, uh, the side panel the, done. Just need to. Uh, little, uh, Trim these oh, pieces the out now, like I did previously, and, but make sure I do it the correct way this time. We'll call and that, then uh, uh, do we'll the other side for that, uh, that end panel. And now I'll strip the uh, the tape off the uh, two side panels and see what they look like. And I'm sure they'll be okay. Well, that's looking good, so I'll just continue around now and uh, and take uh, take the rest of the tape off. I'll do that off camera. I'll just do uh, do just the other side there, and then I'll do the rest off camera. It's, no point in uh, it's just a repetition. Well, that's the job finished now, thank goodness. Uh, I'm not uh, a painter by any uh, any means, as you can uh, you can tell, and lining out is a nightmare for me. But I've managed it, and it matches the engine okay. And I think uh, that will do for me. It's one uh, it's one thing I don't like doing really is uh, is, is painting. Well, that is the tender now we're finished lined out and uh, toolbox uh, lid finished and the paintwork now matches uh, matches the loco The experts out there will probably uh, be having a bit of fun looking at uh, the state of this uh, lining, but it'll do for what I want. Um, it's, it's highly skilled lining out, and when you see some of these uh, models that's being done, it's amazing. It's amazing some of these people, uh, how they do it. And, and sign writers, I mean, that's, that is really a highly skilled job, something I wish I could do. But not to be, but 
it'll do for what I want and uh, it doesn't look too bad really and it matches the engine quite well so we'll call that it I ain't going to do any more with it well, I hope you found this uh, video of interest and uh, and once again thank you for watching